We got the new April Air 700 series whole house humidifier. Um, just imagine this is installed on the ductwork. I'm going to show you real quick how to pull the water panel off and give you a few tips. So this would be on your ductwork like so. So just imagine this table is a ductwork. It's mounted on there. First you want to unplug it. Then you'll reach up underneath here. This little handle here. It pulls out like so. And then lift out and up. There's two... There's two hooks right here and right here that lip over the humidifier frame. You can see on the top, it's, it's got a lip. This is a lip. Those hooks lip over it. So now this is sitting on a duck. You want to grab the top, the top of the water panel, slide it out, and lift it up. You'll see that at the bottom, it has a little nipple that slides down into the drain hole. There'll be a, a some kind of drain line here. Either, either it'll be hard piped in PVC or you'll have vinyl tube or both. I usually like running vinyl tube stub into a secured PVC drain myself. But sometimes they just will run a long piece of vinyl tube in, strap it or tape it to the duct and run it to a, a floor drain somewhere. This is your water solenoid valve. When your humidistat in your house senses that your home needs more humidity, it sends a signal to this valve, electrically opens it up, sending water up this gray line, out the top, into the top of the water panel distributor. This is the distributor. It fills this up and then slowly goes down all these holes, eventually soaking the water panel. At the same time your furnace or heat pump is running, the fan inside pulls air through the sides here, pushes it back through the water panel while it's picking up evaporated moisture. It does not spit water into your airstream. You don't want that. That could cause mildew to grow, algae, all kinds of bad stuff. Any water that is not evaporated in this water panel will simply go down the drain and be gone forever. Okay, that's how the humidifier works. When it's time to change your water panel, I have another one where I have uh, dehumidifier on a duck show you how to change the water panel I figured this video might be a little bit easier once you have the water panel out on the side you have two clips you'll feel them just unclip the distributor remove it see the lines on top of the water panel slide the water panel out you're gonna clean out the frame you're going to throw the old water panel away. You're going to purchase a new water panel for whatever series whole home humidifier you have. This one's an April Air 700. This water panel fits several of April Air's humidifiers, so it makes it kind of easy. Then you unbox the new panel. You just slide it right back in the same way. Make sure the line or the two lines are on top. Then you take your distributor and slide it back on top either which way it doesn't matter you want to snap those side clips back together like so make sure it's secured that one was but it's not anymore secured you're going to take this back over to where your humidifier is installed. Now on the distributor, see if you can see it on the video. You got a notch on one side 
the other side there's no notch. This notch side is to allow this water spout to clear the top of the distributor. So therefore, when you put it back in, you want to make sure the notch is going in first. It's enable it to bypass the top of the water feed tube. When you put it back in, you put the bottom in first because it's going to go into the little indentation in the bottom of the humidifier frame. Right there. So you slide the bottom in. The notch is facing down or back towards the humidifier. Then you just slowly push the pad down and in, and that's it. Then you take your, this is what your um, humidifier fan looks like. But you take the part of the humidifier. Remember you got two clips on the top. You slide that down over the top like so till those clips here and here fit and it fits nicely around the frame. Then you just push the bottom till you hear a click like so. Now it's secured. Remember this is going to be facing up like this on your duct. That's it. Take your cord, you plug it back in, you put your humidifier setting back to where you had it, make sure the water line's turned on, you're good to go. Do me a favor, smash the like button, give it a share, everything helps. Hit the comments below if you have any questions or there's something that you would like to see on my channel. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.